Hi everyone, this is Tina from I Say So Quilting. Today, I wanted to talk to you about mini irons. Uh, if you're quilting, you may have times where you need to use a mini iron, something along this line. As you can see, it has a very small tip on them um, where you can get into seams very well. If you're doing applique, these are really great for applique. And if you're doing applique where you are using like interfacing or some kind of stabilizer on back and then you're cutting out the back, you can easily slide these like up into, um, we'll pretend like this is sewn together. Like if you have that there, you can easily get this up in there because it has such a low profile on the top of this. Now this one, I have had for years, I mean years, um, I know it's over 12 possibly 13 years old, might even be older than that. The problem is, is that it had the little turn dial on it. And whether he age or whatever, I don't know, but the turn dial broke. And I thought about trying to glue it, but if I did, I was worried about the heat of this iron disintegrating the glue or um, possibly gluing the dial up inside to where I couldn't turn it. So I just thought, I'll just go ahead and replace it. Uh, this one says... Um, CNI, but I believe it was a clover product because here's the stand with it. it looks just like a clover um, This one I typically ran on high most of the time um, But I, I ended up replacing it. I'm going to show you what I replaced it with And the reason I'm going to do that I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each one that I got and if you're looking for a mini iron whether you're a quilter or crafter maybe it will help you decide which one is best for you the first one I'm going to show you is this one. This one is the Clover. It is the Mini Iron 2 with the accessory kit. Here is the accessory kit that came with it. It has like a long flat blade here. I'll turn it around here. It has the long flat blade right here. And then it has the rounded one, which would be good for like if you're making flowers or leaves and you want them to be more dimensional, that will help roll those up. It comes with a larger blade. Uh, tip for it so you can see it is considerably bigger than that one hopefully you're not getting glare off that one and then it comes with this attachment that you can hook these um, knives up to like if you're cutting styrofoam or something it gives you like a hot knife to do that with okay pros and cons of this one this one gets hot very very hot I think I read somewhere it gets over 500 degrees the problem is, the other one I always ran on high. You turn this one on high and you try to iron belt, it will melt it. It even melted the um, iron on vinyl that I have, which, you know, in all fairness, any, about any iron could do that if it's too hot. I was not expecting it to melt the felt. Um, I have uh, other irons, regular irons, and I had them on the whole setting never even singed it this will melt it so keep that in mind if you're considering this iron what they did with this iron i guess it's in a way to keep it safer is they put like this cage around it problem is they did not put a cage on the top it does not cover it or the bottom and let me show you the difference here all the years that i had this one i never burned it myself it has a wide flare around the handle of it, so your hand does not slide up. My dog's bumping my camera tripod, excuse me, get back. And uh, so that was kind of a safety feature. I mean, you always had that ability to, you know, have a mishap and have that happen. But I did like that flared out edge all the way around. The new one, they did away with that. It is only slightly flared out here on the edges. But at the top, where you're most apt for your finger to slide at, if you're holding it like this, which a lot of people do, I recommend you hold it like this. But if you are holding it like this, which we are you know, bad about using our finger to guide stuff, it's real easy for your finger to slide up and get burned. And if you look at some of the reviews, like on Amazon, a lot of people have been burned. This gets very hot as you've seen it melted that fabric uh, so keep that in mind if you're considering this one one of the pluses is is that they change from the dial to the slide 
hopefully the heat or whatever the time does not disintegrate that like it did the other the on off switch is on the cord just like the other one it has a toggle switch the only way that you can tell that it is on is with this green light right here um, it does not change with the temperature settings so it has um low medium and high right now it's on high medium well, i guess mediums are right there and then low it has the same type stand i'm not a fan of these because they're not real sturdy you set it there and it's easy to knock it see i mean you can knock that over so easily and as hot as this gets that's not a good thing the other one that i bought oh, oh one more thing about this one my oddly enough my biggest complaint about this one was the packaging oh my goodness it had the kind that's like this it's melted all the way around the packaging i could not even open it with scissors i had to use a utility knife to cut it open there's nothing left of that package it is totally destroyed so it's a good thing i did not have to return this because the package is destroyed however the other brand that i got which is the uh, dritz it has this one has a nice little snap in packages you can just easily unsnap it like a just like a shirt you unsnap it right there so see that it just snaps so i did like the packaging i know that shouldn't matter but by the time i got this one unwrapped i was angry it was just it shouldn't be that hard to unwrap something okay this one gets hot the other one that i bought is the dritz now this one you can adjust the head on you just simply loosen these sides up and then the the head of the iron pivots to make it more ergonomically um friendly you know however you iron whether you iron straight out or you have your arm up or you're standing or sitting you can adjust that it is suggested that you adjust it while it's cool this one has the built-in stand so it just tips back and forth my only problem with this one is i really wish that they would have put like a little rubber stopper here they put little grips here on the side i wish they would have put something here because when it's setting if it's plugged in to your right or your i suppose even your left or behind you and it's setting on something it is so easy for that to slide and fall off that's my only complaint which one do i like better okay um they both do what they're supposed to do this one does not get as hot but it gets hot enough to do what it needs to do the thing i like about this one when i turn it on when you plug it in it will beep when you power it on and you see when it's plugged in there's a light it's got power it has four settings you go up and down in your settings there's one two three four it will continue to blink and once it reaches the temperature for the setting that you put it on it will stop blinking and give you a beep to let you know that it has gotten to that temperature i like that feature this one you're just going to have to test it out you're going to have to go like this and feel and see if it's hot enough i would not suggest testing it on your project because had i tested that on this little sewing machine pin cushion I would have melted right through that and totally destroyed this project. And by the way, aren't these just cute? I got this from a YouTube video from Pay It Forward. I will include the link um, down below. And um, she has lots of free patterns and um, she is so talented. And um, But I will uh, share that link with you in case you're interested in making one. She has other ones. She has all kinds and she has teddy bears and toys, all kinds. Of, she's such a talented lady. But anyway, I'll include the link in case you're interested in making something like this. It's really not that hard. They're, they're really fun to make and they are just adorable. I just love them. Okay. Now, I will try, I will show you the difference. I will press these seams with them. They're both the same fabric. And um, I'll wait till the dritz um, heats up. And it should beep when it heats up. Hopefully you will hear that. So we're gonna open that seam up there and yes that one's hot enough and i have it on you heard that beep so it reached its uh, temperature and as you see it stopped blinking so this one it does a great job pressing seams and it is smooth it is there's no friction on it so it does press them very very well so it's a nice flat seam i got some threads there 
but um, yeah, it pressed it very nicely. You see that seam's laying very nicely. Okay, we will try the dritz. Open this up. Same thing. I will kind of seam up there a little bit. Pull the stand back on it and give it a little press. This one glides very smoothly. Not as smooth as that one, but I mean, it's not like it's like resistant or anything like that. But yeah, it very it's very warm. <laughs> but see, that one did an equally well job. It they both did a great job at pressing seams. Okay, pros and cons. This one heats up. It has more versatility because you can change the heads on it and because you can change the heat on it. However, with a higher heat, I have to give you some cautions that it is more dangerous because you run um, a higher risk of more severe burns. And if you have children around, this may not be the best choice because little hands like to grab stuff as much as we try to be great parents and make sure our little ones don't touch something. But here's this pretty white and red thing and it'd be tempting to grab. This one, I feel safer. It has the beeps to let me know I plugged it in. It has the beeps to know I have it powered on. And it has the beeps to let me know when it has reached its temperature or when it is still building up, it will blink to let me know that I'm it's not there yet. I like that feature. Neither one of them have an auto shut off, which might be something nice. It don't have to be as quick as a regular iron because you are usually crafting with these. Um, but, you know, something that would shut off on its own would be nice. They do not take steam because they are craft irons. Um, the This one might be a little bit more difficult into get into tight into getting into tight spaces like if I was doing an applique and I was working on the backing of it and I wanted to get up underneath and press that this does have that little opening under the plate or between the plate and the plastic part there the protect the protective part like a regular iron does uh, hopefully you can see that yeah so you can get that up in there but if you're like doing an applique where it's got the um, interfacing around it and you got to get the iron down, this the head of this is a little thicker. So it may be not as um, friendly as getting in there. Whereas this one, you could slide that right down in there. You could get that right in them tight spaces. However, this, is pro this may become a problem. I guess I have not used this yet to do that. Where the other one didn't have this cage, so I could you know, get it in there and um, iron things out. This may interfere with that. So, which one would I buy if I could only buy one? That's a good question. I like them both. They both do a good job at pressing. They both do a good job at crafting. However, this one I have to have more caution with, I believe. I mean, they're both irons. Of course, you need to be cautious around where heat's at involved in irons and especially children. Um, this one has more versatility, but this one does everything I need and I feel safer with this one. I like that I can see where it's, the settings are. I like that it beeps. Um, the only way you're going to get burned on this one is if you touch that plate down there. And everything, your hand, I mean, I can go clear up I'll clear all the way up here and it's not burning me. I like that. This one, I feel that you could get hurt a little easier. With that being said, they're so far, they're both great irons. I'm very happy with both. I can't tell you, yes, I would definitely buy this one or yes, I would definitely buy this one. But I can tell you, if I only had to buy one. No, you know what? I don't think I can. Uh, oh gosh. For just, if I'm going to be quilting and I need to press seams and I'm doing some crafting, I would probably get this one. If I'm going to be doing applique and uh, I need to do um, other things where I can change those tips out, yeah, 100%, I would do that one. On a daily basis, if I'm going to use the iron, because the other one, honestly, I didn't use it that often, but when you do need it, you really need it. They come in handy. Um, daily basis, 
I'm probably going to have this one out. So, if I only had one to use for general stuff, it would be this one. So, I know that may not be a big help, but if you're doing, if you want the versatility of the other tips, you want the higher heat, I mean, like, you, you can cut foam and stuff with that knife. Uh, you can do more stuff with these things. Um, this one, just be cautious with it. You can do everything that this one does as far as pressing and crafts and all that. Just make sure your temperature is set appropriately for what you're doing. And I would highly, highly, highly suggest that you test it on an area before you use it on it because it, it will melt things. Now, I haven't had it melt cotton, but I did have it melt the um, fleece that I had, like I said. I mean, that, that burned it pretty well. And it did get all over this iron. I uh, used a fabric softener sheet. I used iron cleaner. I used Goo Gone. That, the Goo Gone took a lot off it. And I think I used the pink stuff finally. I got the majority of it off. You can still see there's a couple little bits there. And I do have a little some scuffs in it now. It's only been used that one time besides what I used it today. But I got the majority of it off. So this one is great iron, but with caution. More so than that one. I hope that maybe answered some of your questions if you're thinking about getting a um, mini iron. And um, depending on what you're going to use it for. Quilting, crafts, great iron. Quilting, crafts, and then some, great iron. A little safer with the beeps and the numbers and the hand thing. And I, I like this built-in stand a little bit better. I, like I said, I wish they would put a rubber thing there, but I can do that. I can take like that rubberized shelf lining and just glue something there to it. Or put a couple glue dots there to kind of give it. And you, that's not a, a deal breaker because that's an easily remedied problem. This one just, I like it. it. It gets hot. It does what it needs to do. But my kids are grown and out of the house. If my grandkids were here, I would not get this one out. So... Hopefully that helps you. If you found this uh, video useful or um, you liked it, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe and y'all have a blessed day.